remixed by Zaxby's. We are going to get you ready to be entertained this morning, not just because you're watching us here on 3 Plus U, but because it's time for you to mark your calendars, clear the evening for March 18th. It is time once again for the Center for Creative Arts annual Dinner and the Arts fundraiser. And we have got two people to wow you this morning. Dana Hardaway is a junior. She's a musical theater major at the school. And Vincent Hale is smiling in a huge way. He is the dean of the fine arts there at the school. So he's kind of over overseeing all of this and a very proud faculty member. So good morning to you both. Good morning. Dana, good morning. I want to start with you because here you are. I mentioned a musical theater major. For people mm -hmm. who aren't familiar with CCA, you're th they're thinking this is a high school, not a college. But yes. that's what you do at CCA. You kind of find an area of interest and you yes. major in it. Yes. Um, so yes, my major is musical theater. And I've been in musical theater since middle school. So there's many different majors. There's, you know, instrumental, dance, vocal, and I really enjoy being in, you know, my major because it's just something like, it's, it's really, it's a really good space to express myself. I'm surrounded by amazing people, other talented people, and it's just a great environment overall. And I'm just really excited to be doing it. Well, the parents and the faculty there are very proud of the work that you create um, and the work that they pour into you. So it's always fun to have a showcase. That's what Dinner in the Arts provides. But you hope that people beyond the CCA community will be there. Yes. Right? Um, yes, because it just gives us the, well, first it gives us uh, the opportunity, the performers, to showcase our talents and showcase what we specialize in. And then it also gives people outside of the school and like people who don't usually come to shows uh, just the the chance to see us and you know have a good time. Plus, it's all you know. It's it's just a good family, you know, en enjoying moment. I guess. Vincent, it's also probably a great recruiting tool for parents who are considering having their kids go to CCA. What a great time to go and see what you're going to get. Yeah, most yeah. definitely, it's an opportunity to see all of our eight different majors in action. So each. Um, of our artistic disciplines are represented in this um, night of the arts and dinner. So you get to see our students showcasing what they learn in class, but then also working as professional artists in the community. It's a, it's a great bang for your buck, so to speak. $35 gets you a ticket and it's a catered meal, right, Vincent? Yes, with the food boss. <laughs> <laughs> So talk to me a little bit about the level of talent, because I know Dana's being a little bit humble. It must have been difficult for you today to pluck just one student to come and speak. It's a school full of talented, passionate kids. Most definitely. So our school is 6th through 12th grade, and we have about 650 students, and we actually just finished our audition season. So we had a lot of different recruits um, and people who are interested in coming and pursuing their art at our school. And so it is really difficult because our students are passionate. They come to school every day, and they still um, participate in their uh, core academic classes, but then they still have their arts classes as well where they have to change their clothes really quick to get to a dance class or get that instrument out and be ready to play. Um, it's showing them what it's like to actually work as a professional in the in the arts. You know, I can't talk to you, Dana, and not point out the academic level at the school. It's not um, an easy program. It really isn't easy. <laughs> so, but, but it must be so motivating for you to tackle the academic work knowing the payoff on the backside is the artistic outlet. Yes, so not only do we focus on the artistic part of it, we do have a really good education like programs. So it's it's really good to have like a, we have great teachers who really care about like their students and care about, you know, making sure that they're on top of their grades. And it's just good to have both the academic and the artistic side because you know though it is important because we are an art school it is also very important for us to learn and be educated for the future mm -hmm. and i think that our school is really is really good at doing that hopefully. so dinner in the arts march 18th um the 14th annual we'll show you 13th in a minute annual. what's that again the, the 13th annual the 13th annual, annual. Yes. Um, we'll show you in a second how you can get your tickets but Often y'all have done a theme. Mm -hmm. uh, this year there's not a theme, right? No, there's no theme. So what are you, you're a choo-choo kid. You're yes. in the musical theater program. It's gonna be a lot of tap dancing and musical theater wow, oh, yes. right? Yes, so uh, the choo-choo kids will be putting on a show. Um, there will be a, uh, 
towards like the end of the show, there'll be like a, a live, uh, they're gonna be an artist, they're gonna be doing a live uh, performance of, you know, painting, I guess, and they'll auction it off at the end of the show. Nice. Which is really cool because we haven't done that until this year, so it's good to have like new things every year. Yeah. So mm -hmm. there is an auction component, isn't there, Vincent? Yes, so we have different items that we're gonna be auctioning off. So we have this opportunity to purchase what we call CCA Bucks and you use that to get into the auction. You use that as your bid, and then everyone gets a paddle that you raise to say, hey, I want to buy that. I want to order this. Um, mm -hmm. And the highest bid is the one that gets the, the item at the end. You mentioned eight majors. Can you name them offhand? Oh, yes, I got an alphabetical order. Okay. Acting, <laughs> communications, creative writing and film, dance, instrumental music, musical theater, vocal music, visual art, and technical theater. So, and I have a minute left. The family atmosphere at the school, does, that, does it feel that way? You nodded your head before it I could even... It definitely feels like a family. Everyone is so supportive at the school, and it's really nice to have supportive people around because when I first, uh, when I first came to CCA in middle school, sixth grade, I just felt like everyone was so welcoming, and it's just a really good environment. It feels like family because everyone's so close and supportive. And that's a really good thing to have, especially in the arts. So you'll feel that way too when you go and you get your ticket yes. to the 13th annual Dinner and the Arts taking place March 18th. The auction begins at 5, the show begins at 6.30 on Dallas Road. You can get your tickets by going to hcde.cca.org. Uh, you know it by now. I'm sure you've seen a show or two there over the years. So yes. break a leg. Thank you so Do much. Do have a great rest of your school year. And Vincent, thanks as always for bringing these kids our way. We appreciate it. Thank you. Another round? If you're buying. Jack's new Southern Barbecue Pub Burger. Two juicy patties topped.